Sean Sweeney, and you can see his Twitter handle up here, and he's going to talk about Marble Slides challenges. All right. Sean's Marble Slides skills there. Just a lot of people here. That's cool. Uh, all right, so my favorite is Marble Slide challenges. Um, this is something I started doing this year with my students. You might have seen it on my blog before. Um, who's here, who here is familiar with Marble Slides? Like, who here knows what that is? Okay, that's awesome. That seemed like almost everybody. Um, so, uh, right now, if everybody could grab a device, go to student.desmos.com and put in the code Q4GXK. So, uh, Marble Slide Challenges are not the regular stack, like original Marble Slide lessons that are on the Desmos website. If you, have, if you, if you don't know what Marble Slides is, there's probably a few people. Um, go to teacher.desmos.com, try out like the linear one, there's quadratics, there's periodic functions. They're a lot of fun. Um, so, uh, what I've done with it is you can make your own Marble Slides if you uh, turn on a special feature in the Activity Builder for Desmos. And in my classroom, I make these single slide marble slide challenges, which I'll talk about in a minute. But right now, I just want to give you a few minutes to, to do it. So go there, try to complete the marble slide challenge. Uh, if you're just kind of figuring it out, you haven't done this much before, you can use as many functions as you want. If you've got like a big chip on your shoulder, and you're like, whatever, this is easy, do it with one equation, okay? Not piecewise, that's cheating, piecewise. Oh, <laughs> man. You can put restrictions though, restrictions are okay. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to give you a few minutes to do that, all right? 